couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and this time we're gonna learn Kiss the Rain. One of your fellow viewers purchased this as a private lesson and arrangement. He asked me to arrange this in standard tuning and without a capo. So I did just that and then he decided to donate this to the channel for everyone's enjoyment. So thank you private student. First I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so we have two different parts, part one and part two, and two different endings for the first part. We have part one with the first ending, part one with the second ending, and then part two. And then you can just loop it around and just play it how many times you wish. Part one, first ending, part one, second ending, second part, again and again. So, um, you start with the first lick, which is this. Okay, the open D string, the open G string, and then two on the G string. Open fourth, open third, two on the third. And then you leave your finger there, you add three on the sixth string, four a G add nine chord. Okay, two on the third string, open fourth, three on the sixth. And then open second string twice. Okay, this is the first phrase. Now, um, there's another option. You can play a middle note between the B, B notes. Uh, you can play strings 2-4-2. Two, two. You can do it like this. Okay? It's an option. You can use it. You can choose not to. Both versions work equally well. So, uh, that's the first phrase. The second phrase starts with this. Two pull off to zero on the third string, then you put on D over F sharp. You can put it on like this, or you can put it on with the thumb. It's three, two, two on strings two, three, and six. Again, the open fourth. Now you can put it on like this, but this is a bit of a stretch on the tendons here, so I prefer to use my thumb for the F sharp bass. Okay? For the sixth string. I play strings three, four, and six. And then 3-3 three, three on the second string. Okay, it's the same rhythm pattern. Okay, as the first phrase. Then the next one also has the same rhythm pattern. It's 3 on the second string, 0-2 on the first. And then... Okay, this is um, 2 on the E string again. And um, open 2nd, 3rd, and 6th. This is now E minor add 9, and then 3-3 three, three on the E string. You can hammer on the first 3, 
Okay? And again, you can play a middle note, you can play the third string. Okay? For that piano um, arpeggio sort of sound. Again, you can add a middle note anywhere you want, but you can keep it simple as well and just read it off the tab. Um, your choice. So, that's the first three phrases. Uh, sorry. Play D over F sharp instead of G uh, at 9. Then... Okay? And then... 5 slide to 7 on the E string, and then 5, 3. Now, you can play it like this. Slide, 5, 3. Or you can slide, pull off to 5, and slide down to 3. One sweep motion. Okay? 5 slide to 7, pull off to 5, slide down to 3. Or, okay, this. Uh, the original line. Because um, both of them express different things, and it all depends on what you want to express uh, and what you want to get out of the composition. Then you play B minor 7, like this. You bar the 2nd fret, 3 on the 2nd string. Okay? And you play strings 1, 2, 3, and 5. And then 3, 3 on the 2nd string. Now, if you want that middle note, you can either pick 3 on the 3rd string or 4 on the 4th. So make sure you put it on. But again, you don't have to do it. You can play it like this. And keep it simple. Then it's this. 3 pull off to 2 on the E string, 3 on the 2nd string. And then C add 9. The add 9's rule here. That's the motif. 3 and 3 on strings 2 and 5 with the open 3rd string. Okay, and then open E string twice. And then 3 pull off to 1 on the 2nd string. Then this. Okay, got it? It's uh, for an illusion of bass chord on piano. Bass chord. So um, the way to do it is this. 3 pull off to 1 on the 2nd string. Then 1 on the 2nd string again with 2 on the 5th uh, string. Then 3-3 three, three on the 2nd string with the open 3rd string. Or, better yet, 3 on the 2nd string and then again with the 3rd string. And that really creates an illusion of bass and then chord. Bass, chord. Can you hear it? It's an illusion of two hands playing a piano. But do it however you see fit. Okay? And then um, it's uh, zero hammer on to two on the third string, and then the open second string, and then again second string with the A bass this time, the fifth string, and then one on the second string, and then one on the second string with open third, two on the fourth. Again, for that, two hand illusion. Got it? Can you hear it? Close your eyes. Sounds like two hands playing a piano. Okay? That's the illusion. That's the imitation here. So, um, the hammer on and then um, the second string. Then second string again with the bass. One on the second string. And then the chord. Okay? Breaking it down. Now, the two endings. The first ending is this. Um, a pull off from 1 to 0 on the 2nd um, string and then 0 again with 5 on the 5th string and you put on 4 on the 4th you play strings 4, 3, 4 and then 2 on the 3rd got it? you build a D chord head okay? because if this is C two frets, it's D. So, um, that's the first ending. The second ending is merely this. You put on four and five on strings four and five, you play strings three and five, 
then the fourth, and then G. You play the open third string with three on the bass, then this. Okay, G says four to G major. Um, open third string, sorry, open fourth. We already played the open third. Open fourth, three on the fifth. Open third, two on the fifth. Okay, so. That's it, that's the second ending. So let's go over the entire first part twice with both endings. G at nine. D over F sharp. E minor at nine. This is E minor at nine. And then B minor seven. Um, C at nine. Okay, this is kind of a B minor six um, line. Then A minor line. First ending. D. Building itself uh, along the line. Then again, and I'll play it with the middle notes this time. Okay, D string. D string again. G string. G string or four on the fourth. Third string again. Third string again. Okay, here you really have to express it this way, so no middle note here. Then the second ending. Okay, let's connect it. Okay. Now for the second part, it starts like this. Open third string, open second string, three on the second string. And then C. Okay, the C chord. Strings one, two, three, and five. Normal C chord. Then open third string, four on the fourth, open third again, open first, and then B minor seven. Okay, you can play strings um, two and five on three and two, or you can put on the chord and play strings uh, three, two, and five. And also one to embellish it if you want, uh, like this. then open third, four on the fourth, open third again, then three on the second string. And then you have this, okay? Again, imitating two hands, bass, chord, for the uh, left hand on the piano. So, three pull off to one on the second string with the A bass, then the A minor seven chord, Okay, one on the second, open third, two on the fourth, and then you pull off from one to zero on the second string. No extra picking, just pulling off after playing the chord. Okay, and then open second, two on the third, two pull off to zero on the third. And then G add nine again. Just like you played it before. Okay, two, zero, three on strings three, four, and six, and then second string twice. So, bass, chord, G at nine, right? And then um, the first lick of the second part again, okay? Open third, open second, three on the second, and then this, C sharp half diminished, or minor seven flat five, same thing. Five four five four on strings two three four and five. Okay, five four five four, and then two two pull off to zero on the E string. Then B minor seven again. 
again, either three and two on strings two and five, or strings two, three, and five. Okay, for that minor seven sound. If you only play this, it's a bit thin. And then, immediately, okay, there's no extra note there. Um, you don't have time to arpeggiate. It's immediately hammer on from zero to one on the second string and then three. Okay, still on the second string. Zero, one, three. And then one on the third string, open fourth, open sixth. This is E7. And then one, one pull off to zero on the second string, then A minor seven. You play strings two and five, then the third string, then three on the second string, then third string again, then open E string, third string again, two, three on the E string, okay, and this gives you this. Okay? It's one, three, zero, two, three on strings two and three, just a scale, okay, with a pedal note in between, which is the open G string. So, um, okay, and then it's seven on the E string with the open D string, then strings three, two, three. Okay, this is a G over D chord, okay? And then you play five, seven, and seven on strings one, two, and three. Okay, this is D because it's the high notes of the D bar here. So just like this. And that's it. You go back to part one. So part two. C. B minor seven. A minor 7, G at 9, C sharp, half diminished, B minor 7, E7, A minor 7. To this right to part one and when you want to finish you can finish on G you can do it like this a D chord shape uh, on seven seven eight seven this is a G chord or um, the bar here okay on ten a shaped or just a normal G chord. So before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons here and I upload a new one every couple of days or so. Also, uh, go download the tab from the website. The link is right below in the description. Go to the website, download the tab. It's for free. Everything is for free right here on Lick and Riff. The tabs, the lessons, everything. But if you still want to give something back and help out with making the lessons, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. You can miss it. It's large, it's blue, it's oval, it says donate, and uh, everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making time to make these arrangements, make the lessons, shoot them, edit them, upload them. It all takes time and effort. So if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful for any donation whatsoever. So thank you in advance. Now, uh, feel free to share this lesson. Enjoy. Make your own arrangement of this. I gave you a lot of options here. And uh, just have fun with this. Let me know how it goes. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.